My boyfriend's brother is a beat cop in Marysville, California. Um, during the 2018 Paradise Fire, which is called the Camp Fire, uh, he was assigned to come up to Paradise and help the local police up there um, evacuate people from the fire. So he was there when the fire started and when it was going down. And um, anyways, he got some people out and then he helped with the, the uh, road closures and stuff to keep people out of the area. And the sad thing was is that he had to come back a few days later and do a body count and he actually saw people that were burned to a crisp like burned down to the bones so he actually saw uh, people burned to bones and I can prove it I'm not gonna say his name because of confidentiality but he did see it and then you look at the situation now um, shutting the power off all over these counties that are surrounding the Yellow County um, city lines they're cut, cutting off people's power so and then they're cutting off people at Paradise too apparently because it's Butte County so they're gonna get cut they might get cut if the winds pick up again they might get their power cut again and they're already devastated I mean they already had their water poisoned they can't even drink the water all kinds of stuff you know it's just total garbage and there's another lady I listened to his name is uh, Jane Tand T-A-N-D-E and she went up to Paradise. I am not fortunate enough to go up there and see it because I saw it on Google Maps all burned to crisp. But she went up there and she saw things that didn't make sense. Um, she saw trees that were still alive, that um, were surrounded, that were in the yards of people's houses that were burned to the ground. And she saw that there was no bathtubs or toilets, that it burned so hot it burned the porcelain, that kind of thing. Same thing with the grocery stores. It like melted the foundations of some of these stores. And, it's, but then it was like some spots didn't get burned at all, but other parts got burned down to the, like it melted like metal. Like it was so hot. It was insanely hot. But the thing was that she's like, she, she agreed. The same thing happened in her town where she lives out in Los Angeles, that the trees burn from the inside out. And some people were saying it's a direct energy wave. Hopefully they don't do that with that Yolo County fire and they just put it out like a regular grass fire. And they don't put out a bunch of people's electricity just to put it out. Just put the fire out. Don't. It's too hot outside right now. It's too hot and there's people like old people and stuff that are probably going to die from the heat. So you can't shut off people's electricity unless the fire is peaking right there in their backyard. Then I say shut the power off. But it's if it's far enough away, don't turn the people's power off. You're just going to end up hurting people that don't need to be hurt. That's just my opinion. But anyways, hopefully they get that fire out and there's no more fires this summer because we're getting really sick and tired of our forest being burned down. I mean, where I live, you know where I live? Like Cherry Lake, it's in Tuolumne County. It got burned all around the lake. All the trees got all burned up. So we're getting tired of our, our state getting burned to pieces for no reason. And, um, what happened with Paradise, pushing people off their land and then trying to break this dam. I don't get it. I don't get what the agenda is. But we know the Pelosi's are behind it. Nancy Pelosi and Jerry Brown are behind this. And then Jerry Brown, I've heard rumors that saying that he wants to blow all the, he wanted to blow all the dams up. Hopefully, Gavin Newsom doesn't have the same agenda to blow out our dams and try to restore it back to it 300 years ago. Because that's complete insanity. I hope it's just a fairy tale and it's not true. Because if it is true, we are in for a world of hurt. That's all I can say. Paradise, that's, I feel so bad for them that they can't go back to their homes. Some people just took the insurance settlement and just left and just moved to another state or a different area. I don't blame them. They're, they're making it impossible to live there. There's nothing left. There's like a few houses that didn't burn. And the ones that are left are being punished, continue to be punished through their water and then maybe having their electricity shut off. That's just not cool. You, you have to let people survive. You have to let them bounce back.